Well, when lawyers become really stupid. Well, two of Suge Knight's lawyers will be locked up with him. His former lawyers, rather. They were arrested on warrants alleging that they were accessories after the fact to a felony. Matthew Fletcher, who you see in the picture with Suge right here, and Thaddeus Culpepper were arrested Thursday by the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department. And the reason why is because the warrants were, uh, they said was a, they were accessories to a fact after a crime. It's because they're saying that ugh, while they're being held on $1 million bail, it's saying that there's um, accusations of them. doing some witness tampering in this case involving Suge Knight. The transcripts of recorded conversations suggested the two had discussed fabricating testimony and Knight had tried to pay off a potential witness and lawyers helping him do this. The alleged talk of robbery came in a series of recorded calls in 2015 between Suge Knight, who was in jail, and Fletcher, along with Phil, Suge Knight's fiance and his business partner. Fletcher is one of several lawyers who have represented Suge Knight in this death row uh, case, uh, what's going on with the murder case, when he ran over the, the two guys outside of the Burger Stone, and one of the guys lost their life. Should not have pleaded not guilty and is scheduled to go to trial later this year. The people on the calls discussed payments of such as $25,000 to witnesses to say the victims or other people at the burger stand were armed at the time, bolstering Knight's argument that he acted in self-defense. Now, in one call, Fletcher said he would pay anything to bikers who were at the scene. If we can get the two or three versions of the bikers on tape, we can get it. We're done. It's going home time. That's a fair investment, you know, twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars. After the court filing, Fletcher uh, denied that he was suggesting bribing witnesses. He said he was talking about bikers who may have had cell phone video that could be useful to the defense. <clears throat> Sorry, right there. Almost choked. The filing also included accusations that Culpepper had contacted the sheriff's department about information that he had agreed to pay for his testimony and he was present at the time of the crime and witnessed events that would be favorable to the defense's case. But a text message sent to Fletcher's cell phone Thursday night was not immediately returned when a woman who answered the phone at his law office declined to comment and hung up and did not give her name. Now they're being held on million dollars bond. So we have to see what's going to happen here and how this is going to play out as far as the rest of this case. But whoever this is, is definitely wanting to keep Suge Knight behind bars. So that's the narrative right now. I'm out.